morning to everyone. Be'ezat Hashem Mincha. We're going to be starting at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock is going to be Mincha. The halakha that we're going to speak about today is we spoke a little bit about having foods like fruits. After the meal, we said if a person has fruits, like for example, watermelons, or he has regular melons, or strawberries, after the meal, within the meal, before he says Birkat Amazon, he has to say a bracha. But he does not say a bracha achrona, which means he has to say bore pri adama, he has to say bore pri aids, but he does not say bore nefashot after the fact. So, what about cakes and cookies? If he brings cakes and cookies at the end of the meal, does he say a bracha or does he not, or does it depend? So, first of all, when it comes to cakes, the whole thing is very doubtful, it's very questionable. If you're allowed to say a bracha, if you're not allowed to say a bracha, so the best custom is to leave the cakes until after Birkat Amazon, because then you get out of the doubt. If you have it in the meal, you're really in a doubt. If you have it outside the meal, meaning after the Birkat Amazon, then there's no question. Of course, you're going to have to say, Yishona, Mezonot, and Chona, if you have a Kazai. But let's say that's not the way he does things. Let's say a person has it in the meal. Is he supposed to say a Bracha on cake, on cookies, that he's not having to fill it up himself up, he's having it as a dessert? Should he say a Bracha on it? So the halacha says most of the cakes and the cookies that are out, that, that a person brings to the table, are actually a safik. They're questionable if they're considered bread or if they're considered patavavi kisanin. It's a safik. And since it's a safik, maybe this is bread, even though we generally say mizonot. But there is a possibility that it is bread, so then it would be covered with the hamotzi. So as we know, the famous rule, safik v'achod l'akid. So let's imagine you had chocolate chip cookies, or you had uh, some sort of sponge cake. These are safik bread, safik mezonot. Safik amotzi, safik mezonot. You would not say a bracha during the meal. So even if you're having it as a dessert, you would not say a bracha on it. The real question is what happens if you have some sort of pata sanin that fulfills all the conditions. Meaning it's flaky, it's filled, and it's sweet. So it has all three conditions and it's clearly in the category of pata sanin without dispute. Do you say a bracha on that when you're having it as a dessert? Mm-hmm. So what's an example? Let's just say, for example, baklawa. That would be something. Uh, Americans, they're into apple pie. That's also, it fulfills all three of the categories. It's filled, it's sweet, and it's, it's uh, crunchy. So would something like, of that nature uh, require a bracha within the meal? So Rabbi Yitzchak Yosef and Rabbi David Yosef have a discussion about this. They disagree. Rabbi David Yosef says, don't say, period. Cakes, cookies, no bracha uh, rishona, no bracha achrona in the meal. And Rabbi Tzchak Yosef has a chidush. Even he says, you can go both ways, but a person who says a bracha has on what to rely. Rabbi Tzchak Yosef says, in that case, where you fulfill all three conditions, you would have on what to rely. Uh, and Rabbi David Yosef says, no, you should still not do it. What's interesting is both learn it out from the same Rashbai and Masechet Brachot. Each one has a different understanding of the bracha. Both of them actually learn it out from the same source. Rabbi Yitzchak Yosef says, no, the Rashba is saying when it's l'shem kinuach, when it's for dessert, it's different. And Rabbi Yitzchak Yosef says, no, uh, Rabbi David Yosef says, no, no, it's the same as all other things. Halakha say it's better shebe'atas, it's better to not make a bracha. It also keeps it simpler. Most people don't know when it fulfills all the conditions, part of the conditions. Just as a general rule, it's better to say, don't say it during the meal. Safik brachot le'akir. Make sure to have it after the meal or when you're eating it during the meal, just don't say a bracha on it, and that way you'll be uh, certainly covering your bases as best as possible, and you'll say, We have with us 